Oh shit, here we go, man. We got Pilar in the building, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, man. About damn time, man. You harder to you harder to get in touch with than a rapper. <laughs> oh man. You ever thought about rapping? Yeah, like somewhat, sometimes. Like, I done made like three songs already. I just ain't dropped nothing. Yeah. You know, I've been doing my homework. Uh, you know, I've been on YouTube since we, you know, initially spoke. And, um, you know, I've been watching documentaries and shit. I watch your IG lives and shit. And you just got a lot of star power. Mm -hmm. It's like everybody's tuned in to you. A lot of people have shit to say about you, good and bad. So that's why I tapped in, man. You know, I seen your other interview. I said, you know what? I got to I gotta sit down with her, man, because it's just when I watch you on YouTube, like I said, it's something about you where it's though people, you have the it factor where people, you're just the conversation. Mm -hmm. So when I do watch these documentaries, um, you know, it, it, it's the titles that 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 catch a lot of people. They call you the backdoor queen. Mm -hmm. um, they call you the setup chick and all that. Like, I do want to talk about that. We don't got to get into a lot of details, but okay. I do want to address that. Um, you know, I know you've seen these documentaries. We've all seen it. What's your whole, what's your, what's your take on all these documentaries that's out on you on YouTube right now? <laughs> to be honest, it's bizarre. Like, it's cat. So it's like, I just laugh at this shit. Like, there's no other way to put it. I don't take none of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is just cat. I mean, it's just crazy because it's like, the allegations are like, put having that rep is like, that's not, especially like a city like Philly. Mm -hmm. that's not really safe to for people to throw that smut on your name. Right. How that came about was like, when my ex-boyfriend died or whatever. And when he died, they all was like, ran with it because he died from a female. He was with a female when he died, but being as though they know that he was always with me, they straight put the blame on me. And then it's like, I'm already in the limelight. So it was like, yeah. Everybody always got something to say about Pilar, so. Yeah, I want to say I, I want to say this too because it's it's on the documentary. It's already public information. So you're with Young Lord, mm -hmm. y'all break up, and we'll we'll wait. Y'all get into an altercation. No, he no. This is the altercation was with another female, not me. <laughs> like this, the altercation is true, but it was the female was not me. So it was like okay. they put me in a position of a different female, like. Yeah. The real people know what really happened. <laughs> so all this is really hearsay. Yes. So he he allegedly, well, okay, so he didn't pistol whip you. He pistol whip another chick. Yeah. He gets killed, and then people point the finger at you. Yes. Like, that's literally what happened. Do you think that's because, you know, and, and this is later on in the documentary, they say after somebody passes away, you go, you go like the ops pictures, you're on their lives. Now see, before that even, he passed away before all that even came about. So it was like, his friends started dying after him. So it was like, I was around these people that were dying. So it was like, damn, they all, I'm pretty sure you heard Leaf Ward. He made a song like, I got it, why y'all hanging with Pilar? Da, 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 da. Like, I don't know what yeah. was his point of that. Cause I don't even be around him, never been around him. Like, yeah. I mean, how does that feel when rappers, you know, people in the cities, it's like people take pictures with you. They say you're cursed, you're bad luck. <sighs> to be honest, like, I'm like the most I don't give a fuck person ever. So it's like, I don't pay that shit on mine. <laughs> yeah. I just don't. Like, because it's like, why? And then there was another cat, too, in a documentary about like a laundry mat or something like that. Mm, no comment on it. Okay. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. Like, you know, from the documentaries and shit like that. Like, what is your mom and, and your loved ones when they see this shit on YouTube and, and shit like that? What do they have to say about that? They laugh right with me because it's like they know me. So it's like, they just like, damn, you really in a line like, like this? Like, my mom, she'd be like, wow, you're going to be famous one day. She was like, the way people carry your name is crazy. Like, People write my mother about me like somebody actually yeah. wrote my mother today. 
Yeah. Uh, so you recently moved to Atlanta or you moved to Atlanta for a little while? Yeah, I was living in Atlanta from 2019 to like the beginning of 2020 because I had a baby. So I moved back to my city so that me and her father could like maneuver with each other. Yeah. Well, I mean, why come? I mean, I mean, I, I don't, I don't exactly live in Philly. I live on outskirts, but like, that's not for nobody to know. So yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, but just when you're out and about, I don't I even be out and about. <laughs> I mean, but you gotta step out the house sometime. Go no, shopping. No, I do. Like, I know how to. One thing about me, I know how to like move. So it's like, I show my face here and there. So when I pop out, they be like, "Oh, you really came outside?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm outside." Yeah. But it's like you won't see my face. You won't see my face. On the internet, do you like in your DMs and shit? Do you get death threats? Death threats. I get all every day. All types of stuff. <laughs> like, they be wilding. So, basically, you're denying everything. All the documentaries are a lie. Just the like the whole part with the lining niggas up and all that, all that right there is Kate. Like all that shit is Kate. I ain't never lined nobody for no block. Never did nothing for no niggas. None of that. So it's like, I want people to stop running with that narrative because that ain't me. Like, yeah. How'd you get so popular though? Well, from when I was like 14 years old in my neighborhood, we used to do skits called Roofless. So people just was like tuning into that. And then from there, I just shot through the roof from the rumors to me being exposed before. So it was like, I've been literally, my name been ringing bells since I was 14 years old. Yeah. So you've always been popular since a kid. Since a kid, yeah. Did you graduate high school? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. And you have three kids? Mm-hmm. I had my okay, first how... child at I had my first child at 14. Wow. Mm-hmm. How how was that? Rough. Then I, rough. Yeah, rough. It was rough. But yeah. I have a supportive family, so I got through it. Yeah. And you know, having three kids, man, you know, uh like you said, going to school and things mm -hmm. like that. How did you create, you know, ha having to once create I time had, that's supportive financially, all of that? Like, I was still going to school once I had my first kid, but I started homeschooling once I had my second because I had him, like, back to back, literally. Mm -hmm. My daughter was six months when I was pregnant again. So I got homeschool. I graduated from homeschooling. And then I just been doing me from there. When when you graduated, did you know like wh what are you passionate about? Like, was it something that you always wanted to be? Was you just winging it? Was you hustling? Mm, hustling, hustling. Yeah, I'm like one hustling ass person. Like, like what boosting? Like what no, were you no, doing to get money? I didn't <laughs> scam, sold drugs. Like I didn't, like all types of shit. I make money off my only fans. <laughs> now, now you recently made a post on Instagram, and you know. You you said that uh the the Philly drill rappers are, are ass in so many words. No, they actually are because it's like they be lying. Not all of them. Some of them be lying. What's one of the ones that don't be lying? <laughs> What's one of the ones? So the, so the ones that tell stories and shit, like the ones that's really talking about some real shit that's going yeah. on. Yeah, I like see, I like the blum niggas from the blum. For real, for real, I like niggas all over my city, like. I don't really care about their beef because I like their music. So like, I'm going to listen to who I want to listen to. <laughs> yeah. But half these niggas be lying. They really be lying. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to misquote you, but, but you were basically telling people that they don't know real music. No, they don't. Because like, a lot of people not even really listening to the lyrics. They just they're like basically going off like the person image of their popularity is like, mm -mm, they be ass. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Leaf Ward, you were basically saying that he sounds the same on every record. He's a liar. <laughs> no, for real. Well, everybody, your... everybody, like, I don't I guess the outsiders think he's like that, but he's not like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to attack him as a person. No, I, um, okay, we're no. not going to do that, but yeah, I said what I said. Yeah, uh, but, but you said he sounds the same on every record. Um, you're not hating on him, but he sounds the same. No, on every like, he's, he's actually... A hot rapper, he just like don't give off no different flows to me mm. that'll catch my attention. Like, I don't listen to him. 
Who's somebody in the city that's coming up there like you you really fucking with right now? My guy right here, OTP Kill, Eight Out Two, okay. and uh, West Philly Tour. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's the only three. Yeah. Nobody mm-hmm. else. Not not a core. Like, no, not the. These are my favorite. They're my favorite. Okay. Um, you know, cause cause Philly was always like a heavy spitter type of city. It mm-hmm. wasn't the drill rap shit. It wasn't the Chicago shit that's exactly. going on now. You, that that's the shit that you saying is corny, the dissing and shit and all that. Yeah, it's like it's played out. It's like we was never like this. Our city wasn't like this. Yeah. At all. <laughs> like you also we didn't we didn't have shit going on in our city, but now it's like terrible. And, and, and everybody want you, drill. Everybody want to want ops. Like that's it. nobody want money. What do you think is the cause of that? Do you think it's the music? Do you think it's Instagram? I think it's it's, it's social. It's a social. It's social media play a big part in a lot of it for sure. Cause it's like you're not gonna really see a person in person. Like you're not gonna really catch a person in person. So it's like all that talk on social media. That's where they could come to social media to talk. But when they catch you, then what? Like, and 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 now it's, it's like to where as though you can't even have a disagreement with somebody in the comment section. Y'all have a back and forth. It's up. Like it's no more fighting. It's it's on site for sure. Don't drop your location. You are gonna get pulled up on. <laughs> mm. And and you also said that uh, rappers care too much about Instagram and clothes and stuff like that. Ne- stuff like that, and not their craft. Yeah. Cause it's like it's a lot of rappers that can dress, but their craft is like shitty. Yeah, like they care more about the image than the music. They care more about the yeah, they care more about the image more than their music, and that's where they always fall off it. Cause yeah. it's like it's really a lot of talented people in my city, like, but they be so tired of an image. Yo, I I feel like um like I said before, I feel like you got star power. Uh even with your leather jacket you got on now and you got the goons behind you. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like you could really do something, man. I feel like if you really like apply that pressure. Yeah, like I was thinking um, about a podcast. Like, cause everybody already be tuned in to me. Like I could just literally go on live right now, roll up a uh, uh, and everybody gonna watch. Yeah. Pick a topic to talk about, everybody gonna tune in and talk about it with me. So it was like, I know I got that power to bring people in to watch me, so. Yeah. What, like what um why did your Instagram keep getting deleted? I be getting reported and then I be doing crazy stuff and my close friends. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty dollars is getting my close friends. <laughs> Yo, on some real shit though. Um have anybody ever tried to offer you money to line somebody up? Yeah. But it's like I believe in karma. So it was like, I never thought nobody like a day in my life. Mm-mm. So the shit that people accuse you of is shit like, that you turned down. Yeah, like be logical. If I was really out here doing this and that, it's a lot of females dying in my city. Like I'm not hard to find at all. So it's like, if I was really out here doing it, shit, I would have been at least got shot before or something. Like people is just crazy. And then it's like, um, I know a lot of niggas. It's like, I don't really hang with females. So I grew up around boys. So when they see me with different groups of different males, they're like, oh, you can't trust her. She be this place, she be that place. But it's like, I fuck with who I fuck with. That's just it. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? No. Mm-mm. You don't have any regrets? I don't live with no regrets. Everybody had, everybody had I can't think, so I'm going to say no. I can't think of nothing. <sighs> no. Everybody has something that they'll do different in their past. It may not be a regret, but it's something that you would have done a I'll little bit different. Do something, be a move different. Like I gotta learn how to control my emotions. That's my biggest part. Other than that, that's the other thing I would do differently is just like move a little different and control my emotions more and control what I say in my mouth because I'm like a firecracker. So yeah, that's about it. Yo, regardless of what people say about you, just based off the comment section, mm-hmm. a lot of dudes still shoot their shot at you. Mm-hmm. Re- regardless if you're the setup queen or not. 
niggas are niggas are willing to die to fuck with Pilar, man. <laughs> <laughs> They really, they say, lie me. I'm ready to take that risk. <laughs> What's your DMs looking like, though? I mean, if I could show you, I'm like, <laughs> them, them players, them, them niggas in there. <laughs> them niggas with what their money it? in there. Is it, what is it, like 76ers? Is it, is it any Eagle players? Is it is it on that level? Football, basketball, rappers. That's oh, all God. I can say. That's, that's wild. Fo yes. Husbands. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With your reputation, that's wild. No, for real. <laughs> for real. You better not tell nobody you. <laughs> yeah, nah, we definitely not here to expose nobody. I don't know if this to be that type of party. Like, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You recently said in your last interview, um, you know, he asked you your type, and you was like, man, you've dated every single broke from a broke guy to but right now with your status like what's the type right now listen i only want the niggas with the money <laughs> that's it that's all <laughs> but but what's money though because i interviewed king von's sister and she said that eighty thousand a guy that's making eighty thousand a year working a great job at a warehouse is not money actually that is <laughs> like if you manage your friend like if you know how to like Manage your money like 80. 80, 80,000 a year. No. That's, yeah, that's enough for them to manage. Yeah, that's enough for me. Yeah. Yeah, you can still, live, you can still live, live a cool life. Bitches kills me. Bitches be trying to live above. They means too much. Child. Yeah. Well, do you feel like you're misunderstood? Very misunderstood. Because it's like on the internet. I'm like a, I wouldn't say like, yeah. I'm like more wild on the internet, but in person I'm like more chill. So it was like when a person see me in person, they be like, ah, you don't give that vibe. Like you more active on social media when they see me in person. It's like I'm quiet as shit. <laughs> Have you ever worked a nine to five before? Yeah, I worked at Popeyes. I worked for Old Navy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got three kids. I was anything. Give me some money. Um. I mean, with your status now, there's no way you could you could go back I'm, to a nine to five. I don't even need a nine to five. Yeah, I done made a hundred k off my OnlyFans. I was gonna ask you that. I didn't want you to. I didn't want you to go off on me because I I didn't know if I misread that or something. But you do have an OnlyFans. Yeah. And what what is what does that consist of? Because you got some people like, um, what's what's her girl name? Um, Mine's is explit. I'm doing everything with you. <laughs> with who? Most likely I'm playing with toys, but <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> okay. And, and and what what are the checks like you how do y'all get paid on there? Like is it is it monthly? Is it quarterly or what? You get paid weekly on there. Every week. When did you for real, for real, when did you if you're making enough money you can cash out every day? When did you realize that like shit, this OnlyFans shit, like this this life changing money. Like, what what was that check that you seen that you was like, whoa, when like hit, this shit different? When I hit when I hit ten k in a month, I'm like, oh, this some fast quick money, free, free money for horny niggas. <laughs> Cause you know I seen Ruby Rose, she's on that shit too, mm -hmm. and I, she's made like I think. I think she said like three million, five million, some some crazy shit like that. Trust me, all you gotta do is do a little, do a little something, and they're gonna pay for it. <laughs> if you a pretty bitch, you got a little name, they gonna pay for it. Yeah. Is it worth it? Mine's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs> Yo, um. <laughs> I, I do want to see you level up, though. And what I mean by that is, like, I feel like you could turn this negative into a positive. Into a, positive. Like, a lot mm -hmm. of people, A lot of people have negative things to say about you, but I feel like all you need is a platform. I feel like with the uh, starting a podcast, I know that sounds corny because everybody doing it, but a podcast or... No, that's what I said. <laughs> I don't... Me, my podcast going to pop for sure. I'm a vibe. Or even, or, or even if you was the rap, like, I, yeah. I feel like a lot of people, you have a real story. A lot of people are rapping, but they don't have a story. They don't have a like story. If you got exactly. a story to tell, you can exactly. do your thing. Exactly. 
That's why I was considering me rapping because I really got a story to tell. So, like. But with this rap shit, you gotta, it ain't no ons and off with this shit. I if know. you gonna rap, you That's gotta rap. That's why I ain't start because I don't know what I wanna do. <laughs> I mean, since you got rappers around you though, they'll tell yeah. you the ones and twos. Mm hmm. It ain't something you, that you just really just like, you haven't um, I'm t I'm like actually talented. Like I know how to dance, sing, all that. Like what what would you talk about in your raps though? My life. <laughs> Cause I don't want to hear you on the my track life. talking about the, the 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 average shit, man, that we hear every day. I mean, that's bound to be a little something in there, cause that's true about me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you throw it off, man. You you something else. <laughs> so before we get out of here, like, mm -hmm. what do you have to say for for everybody that's watching? You know, the haters, the 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 fans. To my fans, shout out to y'all for supporting me and holding it down. Tune in to my guys, OTP Cool, the famous J, OTP Bali. Like, as far as the haters, I love y'all too because without y'all. I wouldn't get like this type of acknowledgement I'm getting in. Like, so it's like, shout out to y'all too. <laughs> For sure. Shout out to my do you fans. Really do you really feel like people want to harm you though? Or is this, I mean, is this the internet? It's like, I feel like the internet just taking something to run with it. Like, I, I've never even been put in harm's way. So it was like, but it's like, I don't push it past nobody at all. Like, a motherfucker is capable of doing anything. So I just stay on my P's and Q's for the most part. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to let off your chest? Mm, no, I'm chilling. So I'm gonna tap into that only fans, man. That close <laughs> friends too. The prices went up, man. <laughs> she got thirty thousand followers. The prices went up, y'all. Fix. And then so, I just so went on, viral on Twitter the other day, so. So on, on your on, on your close friends on IG. What do you do? Like expose people? Oh no, mm mm, mm mm. I might, just like. I might eat a little dick. I might eat a little suckle. <laughs> <laughs> I might like, shake a little. That that's why your shit keep getting deleted, man. <laughs> shake a little ass, naked. <laughs> Play with my sex toys. Cause, what should I do? Because I seen one time on your close friend, somebody was like. Somebody, it was on, it was on YouTube, but somebody was like, "Damn, why you tell people I was trying to, I was trying to smash or something like that?" Oh, this was like a minute ago. Somebody leaked my close friends. <laughs> I was like bidding on the niggas, some of the niggas. Like, if it was corny and I didn't like the sex, I was bidding on it. Somebody, somebody leaked it. Like, yeah. That was well, what do you have to say that you know to the people who think you're a bad mom? And they, you know, because every time you go live, they they ask how your kids are doing. Exactly. Like, or where my kids at. Whole time, my kids are great. Like, absolutely great. Like, to people that say I'm a bad mom, half these bitches ain't even got their kids. Like, mm. so I don't pay that no mind at all, honestly. For sure, man. Hey, Pilar, man, I appreciate this interview. And, and I do want to bring you back. Um... You know, I, I definitely want to see you level up, man. I feel like, you know, I know you got the OnlyFans going crazy. You're making your money. But I feel like you could do something that's tangible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Philly, um, Philly, Philly really haven't had a, I mean, they got the Tierra Wax and shit like that. And, and it's a few other artists. But I feel like we really haven't had that female, um, you know, artist in a long time mm -hmm. to take it on a national scale. Fake. Um, and I and I feel like you could really do that if you take that rap shit serious because I feel like you already had the fan base. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you, man. Be safe. Thank you. I appreciate you.